in today's video I will be showing you a few things you can do which will hopefully resolve the problems you may be having with Steam downloads. These problems could be that the Steam download speed just drops down to zero or maybe it's not working at all. Or perhaps you are downloading your games but they are downloading at an extremely slow rate. While following the methods that I show in this video will hopefully resolve the issues you are having. But before we get started, don't forget to like the video if it did help you. And also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. We have almost hit 40,000 subscribers and that is thanks to all of your support. If we could hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of summer, that would be absolutely fantastic. Anyway, time to begin. The first thing you need to do is to just ensure the drive that you are trying to download your game to or install the game has enough free disk space. If you are unsure what drive you are trying to download the game to, all you need to do is click on the game. I'm going to use Quake Champions as an example. If I just select Quake Champions, I can then right click on Quake Champions and go Properties and then you can go down to Local Files and as you can see it's being installed on my E drive. If I now open up File Explorer, on my E drive I currently have 315 gig of free space. That is absolutely enough space for that game. But if you are getting a bit low on this space, for example my D drive there is getting very low. So if I was to download a game to my D drive it might actually begin to download extremely slow or the download might just keep failing. So make sure you do have enough disk space. If that isn't the issue, then don't panic because the next thing we want to do is just disable any security you have installed on your system. If you're using firewall or antivirus, just temporarily disable those programs for five minutes, close down Steam, open Steam up again, and then see if that improves the download speed. If it does improve the download speed, then you need to add Steam to the exception list, either in your antivirus program or on your firewall, as these security programs may be blocking Steam, which could be slowing the download speed or making downloads not work at all. But just remember, while your security is disabled, you are not protected. If that didn't resolve the issue, then we now want to right click on our network adapter in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and you now need to click on open network and internet settings. We now need to go ahead and click on change adapter options and you now need to right click on your network adapter and simply click on disable. You now need to select enable and what this will do is just give the network adapter a nice little refresh. You can now go ahead and boot Steam up again and try and download your game and see if it's working better. If it still is downloading slow or not working at all, the next thing we want to do is actually flush the DNS. To do this, all we need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in CMD. We now need to run this as an administrator and you now need to type in ipconfig forward slash flush dns and then press enter. Make sure you do have Steam closed when you run this command. And once it has finished running, go ahead and restart your PC and then launch Steam and see what happens. If that still didn't resolve the problems with Steam, then the next thing you want to do is just simply have Steam open and when it's actually downloading, if I just select Quake and go download, simply just press pause in the top right hand corner and once you have paused the download, close down Steam and open it again. As sometimes this can give the game a little boost to then all of a sudden download properly again. If unfortunately that still didn't work, we now want to open Steam again but this time you want to click on Steam in the top left hand corner. You now need to click on Settings. And we now want to go down to Downloads. You now need to change the download region. At the moment mine is on UK London. If I click on the drop down menu there are lots of different locations you can select. Go ahead and select the closest location to your home. 
If the closest location is already selected, then go ahead and select another location that is still close, but not as close. For example, I could select Manchester. Once you have selected a different area, go ahead and press OK, and then restart Steam. You can go ahead and keep selecting loads of different areas until you come across the one that runs best for your system. It might even be a different country completely. But if that does help and resolve the issues that you're having, then definitely change that region and then keep it set to that until your game is downloaded. And then you could always change it back or just keep it how it is. This now brings me to VPNs. If you're using a VPN, close down Steam and just close down your VPN. Just disable it for a second and then open up Steam again and see if the downloads run a lot smoother when the VPN is disabled. As having a VPN enabled can sometimes cause issues when it comes to downloading in Steam. Also, if you are using a VPN, then it might even be worth changing the location in your VPN and seeing if there's a better server you can connect to, which might also help the download speeds as well. If you're still having issues, then we now want to click back on Steam in the top left hand corner and then click on settings. This time we want to click on downloads again and we now want to click on Steam library folders. You now need to select your Steam library folder and you then need to right click and we now want to go repair library folder. And this is now going to do a repair on the folder. Once this window that's up at the moment on my screen closes, you can then go ahead and resume the download and see if that helps. If that still doesn't resolve the issues that you're having, I'm just going to close this down for a second. Then the next thing we want to do is click on clear download cache. As you can see, it says clearing the download cache might resolve issues downloading or starting apps. You now need to go ahead and click on clear download cache and then press OK. You will also need to sign back into Steam as it will clear your login details. And once you have signed back into Steam, go ahead and try and download your game again. If that didn't resolve the issues that you're having, then the next thing you want to do is open up your web browser and go onto Google and just type in speed test. You now need to run a speed test and just make sure your internet speed is at the correct speed. As you can see, I am currently at 110 meg, which is absolutely fine. That is what my internet should be. But if your internet speed is a lot slower than it should be, then you need to go ahead and make sure there's no problems with your cables. And if the cables are absolutely fine, or if you're using wireless, plug your laptop or PC directly into your router with a cable. If all that is absolutely fine, then you then want to restart your router and then see if that helps as well. But just remember by turning the router off and on again, everyone within your household will also be disconnected from the internet. And that does also bring me to if anyone else is using the internet in your household, this can also have an impact on your download speeds. So unfortunately that does now bring us to the end of this video. I hope the video did help. Like I said at the start, if it did and you did enjoy it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.